Hello, my name is Denzel and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at where you can download free music for all of your video projects. Doesn't matter if you're a gaming channel, a travel vlog, an education channel, uh, you make short films or maybe you create little animations. Doesn't matter, we're going to try to find out where you can find free music. Now a lot of this music does come with its own terms and conditions. But we're going to take a look at some of the best options and you can decide which ones best suit you and which ones you feel safest using. So let's begin. The first one on our list you probably already know. It's the YouTube Audio Library. To get to it, you just go to www.youtube.com forward slash audio library. Now the YouTube Audio Library is by far the safest option and possibly one of the easiest. All that you need to do is select a track by clicking on it. It'll show you the description. Generally, it should be fine. It'll say you're free to use this music for any of your videos. Now some of them, you'll come across something like this, where it has this symbol. For most of them, all you'll need to do is copy and paste this text into your video description. In order to listen to a track, you just press play. And then you can also just scrub through the timeline to see if it's what you're looking for. Once you find something that you actually like, all you need to do is go to the side over here and click download and it will give you the mp3. Like most of the options that I'm going to show you on this list, it has its pros and cons. Ease of use is just one of the pros. You can also go to the top here where they have all the filters and choose to filter everything by genre, mood, instruments, duration, and of course, if you're struggling to find something that will allow you to use it without having to give credit, you just go to attribution and click no attribution required. And if you don't mind giving attribution, you can just click all licenses. One of the major downsides in my opinion is there's no waveform, so you can't visually see where the breakdowns and drops are. This is just a minor flaw, considering how easy it is to use the audio library and also all of the music is free, this is your safest bet. Another major bonus is not only do you get free music, but you also get free sound effects. And you can just click on category to see what kind of sound effect you happen to be looking for. Another very popular choice is to search for free music on YouTube itself. You'll come across many channels and playlists that offer free music. And all you need to do is click on one of the channels, go to one of their songs, scroll down, click on show more in the description, look for the download link and download the music, and then find the terms and conditions in which you can use the music. Most of them will just simply ask you to copy and paste a bit of text into the description of your videos. Now, even though most of these channels might not offer um, a way to filter through their music, generally if you go to their playlist, you might come across exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for dubstep or house or drum and bass. But that's about as good as it gets. It just depends how the channel likes to organize their music. You might run into a few problems when using music off of YouTube. I'm going to tell you what the best choice is and why a little bit later in the video. Another insanely popular source for free music is SoundCloud. If you search through SoundCloud, you're bound to find some really good channels that offer free music. But I'm going to suggest one in particular, Free Music for Vlogs. Free Music for Vlogs offers some incredible sound for free for your YouTube videos. Everything's been sorted into playlists to really help things along and help you find exactly the kind of feel that you're looking for. Now, if we go to the side here where it gives a description of what the station is all about, it tells you the rules and conditions. So generally, just follow these rules when using their music and everything should be okay. One of the major benefits to using SoundCloud is not only can you scrub through the music, but you can also see the waveform so you can see where exactly all of the different uh, drops and breakdowns actually happen. And it's really quick and easy to browse through the music. 
and like I said, often it's very good quality. Now say you find a track that you really, really like. Like, ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, that, why not? Now, you really like it, so all you gotta do then is click on the actual title of the music and free download link. And as said before, just copy and paste whatever relevant information they want you to have in your video. You click the link, it will take you to a page like this, you just gotta follow the steps and download. Uh, that's pretty quick and easy. You can even offer to subscribe to their YouTube channel and offer them some kind of donation. At this part of the video, I just want to give a bit of a disclaimer. There are some good free songs out there, but they're not always the best choice. You won't sound unique because a lot of people are using these free songs. Not only that, but you might also get a copyright strike on your channel or lose monetization on your videos. This is why I want to introduce you to a brilliant source for royalty free music, Artlist. All of their music sounds professional and will instantly improve the quality of your videos. And if you sign up using the link in the description, you will receive an extra two month subscription for free. Some of the benefits to using Artlist, unlimited downloads, unlimited licensing, including for commercial use a lifetime use for the songs you download, and all the songs are pre-checked for monetization on YouTube. Let us continue with the list. Number 4. Freemusicarchive.org I really love freemusicarchive.org. You can search through genres, or as I like to do, just go to the curators, and my favorite one is CC Community. Now it's pretty easy to use Free Music Archive. All you gotta do is press play to listen to a song. Once you've found a song that you like the sound of, just click on the title of the song. It'll take you through to a page dedicated to the song with a whole lot of information about the song. But most importantly, it gives you the licensing terms and conditions. And if you don't know what any of this means, all you've gotta do is click on it and it'll bring you through to this page which will explain everything that you need to know. But most of the time, all you're gonna need to do is give credit. So just include the name of the song and who it's by with a link to the page where you found it. The only thing that you've probably gotta be aware of is if it says for non-commercial use, but otherwise you should be fine. Once you found a song that you really like, just click on this arrow next to the song's name and it'll download the MP3. Another brilliant place to find free music is packdv.com forward slash sounds. Once you're on the page, just click on music where it says all free music tracks. And as you can see, you may use these tracks free of charge in your video, film, audio, and multimedia projects. And like most of this stuff, all you gotta do is give credit. It's pretty easy to go through the list of songs that they offer, you just click on one of the songs, press play, and it allows you to actually scrub through the song and it gives you a waveform. Now say you really like the song and you wanna download it. You just click on this big blue download button. It'll take you through to a page that looks like this. You then click on these three dots and click download and it will download the MP3. All right. So now this one is one of my favorites for many reasons. And the main one is it's Moby. And if you don't know who Moby is, I suggest you do yourself a favor and Google him because his music is amazing. And you probably already know it, even if you don't know his name. Now, I'm not gonna do any of the talking. I'm gonna let Moby speak for himself. So I decided to take pretty much all of the music I've ever made, including a lot of unreleased tracks, and just make them available for free. So that's what Moby Gratis does. It's free music for nonprofits, independent films, film students. And if your film is ever licensed commercially, and for whatever reason money is generated 
any money that comes into Moby Gratis will go to animal rights organizations. So I can never, ever make a penny from Moby Gratis. Um, it's just free music for your, for your project. And right now there are upwards of 200 pieces of music on there, um, and I keep adding more music every day. I hope you find the music that you're looking for, and I hope that whatever you're working on ends up being great. Thanks. Now, to me, this is one of the most incredible things. So let's just take a look at it. First, you can just click on the catalog at the top here, and it's fairly easy to browse. You just click play on one of the songs that you like. It allows you to scrub through it, and it even gives you a waveform. So it makes it really, really simple. Now, once you've found a song that you really like and you want to use it, you just click on the little cloud icon next to it. It'll take you through to this page where you've just got to fill out the details and follow the different steps, and then they'll email you a link to download it. Next is dig.ccmixer.org. Once you're on the front page, all you've got to do is scroll down to where it says free music for commercial projects. Click on the dig button. It'll take you to a page with a list of music, which you can just press play on one of them, and you can listen to the songs. You can also scrub through the music. Sadly, there is no waveform, but at least you can scrub. But once you find a song that you really like, you just got to press on the orange button next to the play button. You will be met with a pop-up that'll say, to use this music, you are required to give credit to the musician. And they make it really, really simple. All you got to do is click on copy to clipboard, press OK, and then you can paste that into the description of your videos. And then you can just press download, which will take you to this window which we've seen before. And all you got to do is click on the three dots and click download. PublicDomain4u.com is a little bit different to the others. Once you're on the front page, click on Free Music List, and it'll give you a list of music that is now in the public domain. All you need to do is click on the play button to give it a listen, and you can scrub through it quite easily. And once you find a song that you really like, you just click on this little building, you just click on this little symbol over here. And it'll take you through to this page, which you can actually see the waveform and listen to the song. And if you want to download it, you can scroll down to the download options and you just pick MP3 and click download. It'll take you through to this page, which we've come to know quite well. You click on the three dots and click download. Now we're going to take a look at freepd.com. As you can see, for zero dollars, you enjoy the site, download any MP3s, use them how you want. If we take a look at the top here, there's a bunch of different categories. So we'll just click on one of them and we'll be taken to a page with a bunch of songs. You just click on one of the songs to give it a listen. And if you like the song, you just click on the three dots and press download. Now there's a lot of free music out there if you search hard enough, but it comes with a lot of problems and a lot of headaches. Because I've suggested Artlist, let me show you why it's so good. And remember, if you click the link in the description, you will receive an additional two months for free. All right, so let's take a look. As you can see, down the side here, you can filter the music by mood, by the video theme, by genre, by the instrument. And then Spotlight is a bunch of groups and albums that Artlist suggests and wants you to take a look at. Now when you press play on a song, you'll see that you can scrub through the song and it gives you a waveform so you can see where the breakdowns and drops happen. And if the song has lyrics and you're worried about what they're actually saying because you can't quite make it out, all you've got to do is click on the song and you'll be taken to a page like this. And then right next to the song's name at the top here, you click lyrics and it will give you all of the lyrics that are inside of the song. Once you've found a few songs that you really like, you just add them to your cart by clicking on the cart over here. So we'll just add three different songs that I really like. Then we go over to the cart and we click check out. 
Now, if you don't yet have a subscription, it'll send you an email where you can download the songs, but they're going to be watermarked. If you really like the songs, you can then download the official tracks without a watermark on them. And remember, if you click the link in the description, you'll get an additional two months free with your subscription. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you found it useful. Please remember to subscribe. And if there are any free music sources that you like to use that I haven't mentioned in my video, please link down below in the comment section so other people can check it out. And I'll consider adding it to my next video.